Hi there, this is Just a Girl in Canvas, Alicia King, and I am at the home of Jerry Rabano. And I wanna give you a little background about why I'm doing this interview. So I actually am going to have a few interviews coming up that are going to be about the earth and recycling. And I see these pictures that Jerry posts about what she's doing with plastic, items to be recycled, things that we struggle with about that are accumulating in our homes and we don't know what to do with them. I am inspired by what you post. I am wanting to know what I can do to help our earth and help recycle. So Jerry, you're inspiring me. I'm here because part of what I do is if I see positive things going on in our community, good things, I want to feature you. I want to share your story. So thank you so much for meeting me today. Thank you. Yeah, tell me, where did this passion come about plastic? I'm assuming it's a love-hate relationship with plastic. Uh, it's all hate. Okay. <laughs> well, no. I'm only I mean, saying love because you have so much of it, love, which is... I love the environment. I'm an, I think I would call myself uh, an environmental activist. Wonderful. Yeah. So love that's, it. That's my thing. One of my things. Um, and that started, I would say, let's see, close to 14 years ago is when... Um, I camped under a redwood tree in the forest of Jedediah, and that and my husband pretty much inspired me. And wow. that is when my love for the earth really grew or wow. was born. So that's wow. yeah. And so, where has that taken you today with some of the things that you're doing? What what are you collecting, or what do you really? I know you find places to recycle that aren't just putting it out in your recycling bin. How have you found these other places? Um, I do a lot of research online. Okay. Um, I'm a researcher, so um, the plastic bags that I'll let you take the yeah. Microphone so for the minute, plastic so. bags that started last year through a competition, a challenge from Trex, the Trex company, uh -huh. and they take um, plastic bags and I believe uh, wood and they create outdoor decking. So they began a challenge within all the elementary schools in the Pacific Northwest. Whoever wow. was able to collect the most plastic, and there's specific types of plastic, um, in pounds won a composite bench. So that's where that started. Um, and I just have an aversion to plastic. Okay. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> um, so let's talk for a minute. So in your last picture I saw, you had plastic bags like this, which you're lying to me if you don't have plastic bags in your house because everywhere you go, Absolutely. that is what they're putting your yeah. goods that you purchase in. And sometimes when I don't want to take the plastic bag, but what I'm, purchase, what I'm purchasing is so awkward to carry or I have too many, I have to because I forgot mm -hmm. my bags. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have piles like this. Yeah. So let's say I have a pile like this. Is, first of all, is this recycling place local that makes the outdoor with the plastic and wood? Well, what, what we do is we collect it at the school. I have a team of kids um, on Fridays. We weigh it, collect it in a specific bigger plastic, clear plastic bag because Trex only accepts these large plastic bags. And then I bring it to the Safeway. Okay. Because local grocery stores are teaming up with Trex. Okay. Now what's happened is that Safeway is getting inundated with so much plastic that they, they've said stop. So that's why I have 10 large plastic bags in my garage at the moment because we're on hold. Okay. So what our, you know, what neighbors can do is, you know, you come home after your grocery shopping and you have all these bags and some people reuse them for their dogs and others don't. They just throw them in the garbage. Mm -hmm. So you can bring them to Safeway and Target and other stores, and okay. there's those little round yeah, um, I think containers. QLC has them mm -hmm. too, don't they? Okay. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of stores. But in this quantity, um, it's, it's becoming a problem. Okay. So I'm waiting to see what Trex is going to come up with. Okay, so um, if we have large quantities like this, you are recommending to take them to your local grocery store. So even if it's not Safeway, when we put them in the bins at those other stores, they're still being recycled. Yeah, you can go on the Trex website, trex.com. They have a list of different grocery stores that are participating. T-R... T-R-E-X. Okay. Yeah, Trex. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's one thing we can do is take these bags to grocery stores. And I, we also, we use ours when we clean out the litter box. Yeah. Um, we wrap it up in that. 
do you think, what do you think about that? Obviously that's going into a landfill. So I want honesty. What would you recommend? Five years ago, I stopped, I don't use these. I, my garbage cans are under my sink and there's just little two cans and I throw all my trash in there. It gets gross and I wash them once a week. Okay. And I pick out the gum or whatever. That's just what I do. So I don't use this anymore. And I know there's uh, recycle or biodegradable bags. Uh-huh. I just don't bother. I don't use them. Okay. But what I do, if I go to the grocery store, my husband, I don't have my reusable bags, and I've got tons, and I keep them in my car. I have them. I've had these forever. Yeah. Yeah. If I forget to put them in my trunk, I just either ask for paper, okay. or right. if, if my items are bulk, I just put them right back in my cart. I roll my cart to my car, and I put it, like if I go to Costco. Okay. And then I just carry it in my house. Okay. It takes a few extra minutes, but okay. for me, it, it's not an issue. It's worth it. It's all worth it. Okay. Yeah. And other things besides... Um, Can you hold the microphone I'm sorry? a little bit closer? Thank you. Other things sure um, you. besides plastic is... So single-use plastic, I think, is something that everyone can stop using. That would be, you know, a plastic bag, a straw. These are nemesis to our sea life. Turtles, I don't know if you've seen that video of the turtle when they have to pull the straw out of its nose. No. It's I, heartbreaking. I'm sure. So this is plastic. It feels like This paper. is paper. Okay. This is paper. So, but these are bad even though they're paper? No. My point is use paper. Oh, Or okay. like last night my kids and I and my husband went out for dinner and I asked for no straws. Just drink from the cup. You don't need a straw. So that's, that's something. Or I take these with me in the car. If we go get a smoothie, I just say no right. straw. I'll okay. take my own. I love this idea. Paper yeah. straws. Paper straws. Okay. Um, don't use single-use plastic oh. uh, water bottles. Bad, bad, bad. Just bring this with you. Fill it. I fill this all day, and I drink. It's perfect. Okay. Coffee. I typically always drink my coffee at home, but if by chance I go out to Starbucks or mm-hmm. Squeeze and Grind or Piccolo, I just bring this with me. And I can say put it in here. Yeah, put it in here. I don't need to use one of your cups. I'm saving them money, saving the the earth. I've been making my own um, washing soap because usually I go to Costco and I get that big eco, mm-hmm. you know, jug. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do that anymore because now plastic is not being shipped to China anymore. I heard. So we have a massive problem with mm-hmm. plastic recycling mm-hmm. in our community. That's interesting. So the container that your detergent is coming in. It's okay. not going to go anywhere. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop using, buying shampoo in plastic bottles. So down at the soap chest, our local soap chest, she's awesome. Um, she makes a shampoo bar. And I've, I used it today, and it works beautifully. Your and hair looks great. Thank you. Um, and I buy my soap there. And all of the film and paper is biodegradable. Oh, I love that. Packaging is Packaging so is, and this mm-hmm. bottle I probably have had for at least five years, and this is what I wash my counters with. Um, this is an all-purpose cleaner. It's vinegar, water, and a lemon essential oil. And uh, this is what I use to and clean my floors. And I, I ha- literally have, you can see, look at that. I've used this for a long time. Okay. And so I would say get, get those bags. This is what you can use. That which you can help. My last thing I'm doing now is my daughter uses one a day contact lenses, and that's a lot of plastic. So I just found this website called TerraCycle.com, and they have tons of different companies that will do recycling. So I'm going to fill that up. When it gets to be two pounds, I get a shipping label, and I send it to them, and Bausch & Lomb will recycle those. So there is a ton of stuff out there mm-hmm. that um, you can do. Um, it's really weird. I don't know, maybe I'm having an emotional day, but when I talk about all these things that I'm doing and that we're all doing, it makes me a little sad because you realize there's so much of what I'm using every day, my family is using every day that is plastic that is going somewhere. So I think think what's happening is we live in a very fast paced society. We want convenience, Mm -hmm. you know, and, and so I think we just need to stop and be more mindful. Um, and do what you can do. That's all. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, I think Jerry gave some awesome examples today. I think if you could pick one of these things to start, um, I'm going to put straws in my car. I have the space for them. It's funny you say this because my daughter really has been saying no straws, no straws. And then she takes the lid off in the car and we have an open drink and there's kind of that type of thing. 
But if I have these paper straws in the car, then it's a win-win situation. Yeah. So when you're done with these, these just go straight in the recycling bin like paper. They can, um, or I wash them. Oh, okay. Wash and reuse. Love. And there's also ones that are glass. There's. Um, I've seen them, that. So mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, you are an inspiration. I want to say thank you because um, you're making a dent out there, and I appreciate it. And I hope that your message will reach some other people in our community. And let's just say 10 people from this interview did one of these things, then it is growing. It is growing. And it will just ripple out. It'll ripple out. All right, Jerry, yeah. thank you. Keep it up. And um, I'm going to spread the word and hope to inspire some other people for recycling. Yeah. We got One Earth People, Earth Day's coming up, and I just think all year round should we should be thinking about the earth and what we can do to make it better. So Jerry's an inspiration. I hope you've heard something here today that you can start to do in your household or, you know what, even at your business. So there's a lot of places to make a difference. This is Alicia King, Just a Girl in Camas. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this interview today. Don't forget to subscribe on the left side column of my website. You can enter your email address and you'll get a notification every time I post a new interview. Just a Girl in Camas is a 501c3. Your donation helps me support our community and bring us together with these awesome interviews. Thank you so much and I'll see you around town.